Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar and today I'm going to talk about an interesting upcoming movie, Dr. G, whose trailer recently released staring Ayushman Khurana in the lead role. Female doctor prefer karte hain. Male female kya hota hai? Doctor doctor hota hai. Patient jaisa nahi sochte na. Pehle aap to aisa soche. You have to lose the male touch. This movie has created quite a stir in the medical fraternity as the movie portrays the journey of a resident doctor who wanted to pursue orthopedics but ends up in the gynecology department. While the movie has promised to offer an inside tour of the medical colleges, hospitals and the gynecology department in specific, the expectations are also high among the doctors for the fact that the movie has been written by a doctor himself. Dr. Saurabh Bharat, a dentist turned writer, wrote this movie along with his friend Vishal Vag. After completing his BDS degree, Dr. Saurabh decided not to continue in medical profession and got himself enrolled in the New York Film Academy. After completing one year diploma in filmmaking, he came back to Mumbai and started working as an assistant director. Previously, he has assisted in many films including Prakash Jha in Satyagraha. However, later he turned himself towards writing and started working on feature films. While Dr. G is his first film, he is currently working on three other projects too. So to know more about this upcoming picture, today we have with us Dr. Saurabh Bharat. Welcome to Medical Dialogues. First of all, I want to congratulate you. So if we talk, can you please tell the journey from being a doctor to turning into a screenwriter? Yeah, so I won't call it a switch to be very honest. Um, story writing or telling a story was something that I was passionate since since ever. I think the first film that I watched was Mother India. My father made me watch that. And since then I was like so, so uh, attached to this whole storytelling of through cinema that I always wanted to tell stories. I remember I used to participate in various uh, story competitions. There was one done by uh, National School of Drama in 2000, in the year of 2000, yes. And I have sent my entry without telling my parents and, and won the first prize. After, after I won the first prize, then only I told my parents. So, uh, so it was always there. But then as usual, parents eventually started to think that, you know, no, you have to pick a branch which is, which is more reliable and stable and all that. And I, by that time, my elder brother was already doing MBBS and it was an obvious choice because I used, I, I love biology. I love, even today, I love a lot about medical field. So uh, that was an obvious choice. And by that time, I, I mean, after giving one or two try, I get uh, admission in the dental sciences. I did my BDS from Maharana Pratap Dental College, uh, Gwalior only. Because that was my hometown, it was easy to, instead of going to any other town, I picked that town. So, but after a while finishing, while doing that only, I kind of like realized that this is not my call. I want to do something else. Even while doing BDS, I was, uh, uh, I was a radio jockey and no one used to know in wow. my college. Yeah, I was a radio jockey and no one used to know in my college because as a radio jockey, my name was something different. So I used to, like after finishing my college, I used to go to a uh, radio station, used to do a two and a half hour show and then go back home again because that's those, that's that, those are the places where I used to uh, get a little, little more of the creative juices flowing and all that. But eventually, once I finishes my BDS, I uh, told my parents that this is not what I want to do. I want to tell stories and the only way is to first learn about it. So I want to go to film school after a year of persuasion. Though my I finished my degree, that was a, that was a term condition uh, put up my, by my parents that if you fail even in one subject in the final year, we are not sending you. Luckily, uh, there is, there is, so the, if, if people know, BDS final year is the toughest year. So if every year you have three subjects, in the final year you will have seven subjects. And all are very important subjects. Luckily, somehow I managed to pass all of them. And that's how they have to send me to the film school. Film school turns out to be a very eye-opening place for me, a great experience I meet. Uh, people from so many different countries. The whole thought process or the point of view of the world got changed in that particular point of time. After coming back, I immediately uh, came back directly to Mumbai, and uh, that's where my journey as a filmmaker started. But um, 
after assisting for few films i realized that my more my inclination is more towards writing that's when uh, that's when i started writing the first film that is not okay so if i talk about about this movie in particular what inspired you to write this story this movie got inspired by a visit to my uh, wife she because she is a gynecologist now but at that time she was studying gynecology she was doing post graduation in gynecology in bukaro so um, bukaro general hospital there is a hospital inside the bukaro steel city so i went there to meet her um during my film school period because i came after a semester got finished i came here and i went to meet her um then i saw that there was a batch of eight people uh, in the batch of eight people all are doing uh, gynecology all of them are females except one boy and the whole world professors all the professors were female and even the department is of obviously female, all the female patients so i started to feel that ki how does this boy feel over here like being the only male in the whole female department so um so that's where the idea is tried and i immediately told my wife you know this could be a story and she said that at that point i mean i don't see a story it's just a male gynec in a male uh, in a in a gynecology department what what could be this it can't be this. obviously because she's facing it every day she never see it as coming it as a story but in 2000 cut to 2014 when i decided to write this this idea i threw this idea to few other uh, film people and they said that you know this could be a really great story and then the research is started in the during the research i actually talked to uh, six to seven gynecs other gynecs gathered their uh, povs gathered their um, various interesting incidents that they shared with us obviously keeping everything secret uh, keep keeping the confidentiality of the patients and everything in that but we majorly shared their journey they they how what happened how they become a successful gynec and uh, on the basis of that we started creating the whole story of this male gynec in, in a in a all female gynec ward uh, later after this uh, once we finished this draft me and my co-writer rishal bag we finished this draft we took it to jungle pictures and then jungle pictures immediately liked the whole idea then anubhuti kashyap came on board as a director and afterwards uh, sumit saxena also came on board as a dialogue writer and screenplay writer so that the last draft that we read, that after jungle pictures signed us in 2016 we have written another draft in 2017 uh, which was written by all four writers As trailer shows this picture will bring out some inside jokes about medical field and struggles too. So what's your say about it? Yeah. So I see it's uh, I think the struggle of the doctors hasn't been portrayed on the screen very uh, honestly before mm-hmm. than this. Obviously this is also not going to be able to uh, justify each and everything about it but at least it's going to get a peek of it. I have the the most important thing that people usually forget in our society is that it takes a hell lot of time to become a doctor like the study uh, itself takes almost 14 to 15 years whereas uh, all other contemporary or like all uh, all of your batchmates who have actually chosen another field might be actually looking for a promotion or maybe getting uh, getting a second child or something like that setting up their house and everything by that time doctors are usually just finishing their study so um so obviously they start their career they have invested so much in their lives and not only that even the struggle is just started because now they are stepping into the professional field where where actually they have to face a lot of stigmas like for example if you talk about a male gynecologist he has spent 14 years in studying and now when he opens up his clinic he might actually have to face that no the females are not ready to come to visit to him so uh, yeah so so this this story actually talks about these small small struggles of a uh, of of uh, medicos um obviously we are focusing more on the gynecology and their struggles but in general also it talks about how much how much difficult it is for a doctor to finish the study and then to face so many hurdles and obstacles in their life as we know that this picture is giving a strong message about male gynecologists and their struggle as female patients are still not comfortable so what do you think how this stigma taken away so actually um 
actually we didn't don't actually didn't try to put up any message to be very honest it's just that we try to show the reality and then let the audience take their take away so of course there is a i mean as per as all aishwan purana film which actually tries to break a taboo this film actually looks like as if it is t- talking about a taboo around male gynecologists of course there is a taboo around male gynecologists and and they face a little more difficult situation than others because it's for example a female gynecologist might have to just be there as a female the male gynecologist actually have to uh, first make the patient comfortable before actually even even started examination like examining the patient so this makes you think makes makes their whole thing little more uh, little more of a struggle but at the same time um uh this film actually not only breaking the taboo re- around male gynecologists but it also eventually talks about so many other taboos in our society through the eye of this male gynecologist protagonist like like when we actually get into the world we see so many small things like in the trailer you might have seen the last bit where where a wife actually trying to tell to the gynecologist that she he really doesn't know how to do yeah. it so why that is happening because there is no sex education so in a very funny manner not even trying to put it out as as some agenda or something but in a funny very funny manner through the pov of this male gynecologist we are tapping on so many small uh, taboos like sex education or whether early marriage or so many other small instances um but end of the day the 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 main takeaway is that uh, a doctor and his identity as a doctor is the most important thing whether he's a male or female whether it is he belongs to upper caste or a lower caste or any other thing the most important thing for for a doctor is to be a doctor uh, and and to raise this identity above all other so how this movie is going to be different from previous movies which are made related to medical field so the first thing that i wanted to tell that ki uh, whatever the movies that we have uh, seen uh, those movie like for example if we talk about munna bhai mbbs that's a movie from a from a perspective of a gangster who wants to do an mbbs interesting premise interesting but it doesn't exactly give the real peek inside the world of a medical or what what is struggle so one has to go through like in this if you seen in the trailer we have seen shown that came uh, he was confused where to go like which branch to pick up like uh, for example like my brother who is also a pathologist uh how how people see and uh, i mean my even my mother used to say that ke uh ye kya tatti pe shaap to utha rahe like so that's that's the perception that is the that's the thing that has been attached to so many other different branches so um so that's that's the one peak that this film actually tries to give in a very entertaining manner like the world of doctor their real what are their real conflicts what are their real issues like which branch to pick up not only that it also tries to to uh, give a peek inside the world of gynecology department like so instead of focusing on everything of inside a hospital this this story only and only focuses about this particular department which is a very unique world which is actually always existed around us the 50% of our population actually goes to this department and this is the department from where not 50% 100% of the population goes to this department because end of the day everyone get birth from this department so yeah. even if there is a male definitely have gone through a gynecology department once in her life because that's where he has actually uh, taken birth so so it's so so basically it's that important of a department and also there are a lot of various aspects that that we see through this department because it also talks about the situation of females in our society in a very d- indirect way so so the character that that we follow in the film um uh, his perception about females his perception about this department and his perception about the society in whole changes when he actually start working over here so that's that's this whole story is all about it's not only breaking the taboo of uh, one particular thing which is male gynecologist it's also breaking the taboo uh, in so many other levels which will which will eventually will see in the story but all in a very humorous and light 
Thank you so much, Dr. Sora. It was pleasure having you, and all the very best for your movie and for your upcoming projects. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.